Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of the QuickBooks webinar series. Today we're going to be talking about filing sales tax in QuickBooks Online. We've created this general guide for you to follow when filing sales tax. So who needs to file sales tax in Canada? If you have a GST HST registration number for your business and you charge and collect GST HST on supplies of property and services that you provide to your customers, then you need to file sales tax. Whether you remit monthly, quarterly, or annually depends on your setup with CRA. The CRA has an in-depth guide on what items are taxable, tax exempt, and zero rated. So the difference between those codes allows you to claim certain items as input tax credits or ITCs on your GST HST returns to recover the GST HST paid. It's best to consult with CRA or your accountant on these specifications so you're recording your transactions correctly in QuickBooks Online. Only then will you have an accurate reporting when it comes to GST HST remittance. To access the CRA guidelines online, visit Canada.ca and search for GST HST registrants. And then click on the general information for GST HST registrants. And here you'll find a table of contents to um, access the information that you're looking for. Filing sales tax is a multi-part process. If you're just beginning, you need to ensure your sales tax center is turned on and you have set up your preferences. You'll need to ensure sales tax is being recorded on all transactions going in and out of your business during each filing period. When you're ready, you'll prepare your sales tax return in QuickBooks Online. Next, you will submit your return to the Canada Revenue Agency. And after that, you will close your filing period in QuickBooks Online. And finally, you will then record your payment to or the refund from CRA. So let's get started. To prepare your return, select Taxes from the left-hand menu and ensure the top left corner here says Sales Tax. If you use Payroll in QuickBooks Online, you may need to select Sales Tax as opposed to Payroll Tax. Next to Sales Tax at the top, you'll find the Tax Agency card associated with the return you'd like to prepare. You'll only see the Revenue Quebec card if you have Quebec Sales Taxes turned on. You'll then scroll down and click on the Filings tab and select Prepare Return beside the next return you need to file. Here you'll review the return and, and confirm the dates that have populated in the start date and end date fields. The start date will be the end date of the previous uh, filing. Your end date will be based on your filing frequency. If necessary, you can change the end date, but remember that your payment schedule is set by CRA. So you can't change the dates just for your own requirements. Be sure they are in alignment with what you are due to file with CRA. Next, you will review the lines of the sales tax return with the balance owing or refund due showing at the bottom. You can review each item line by line and you can review the values by clicking on the hyperlink here. Clicking on these values will take you to a report of all the transactions that make up this figure. You can also make adjustments to a line uh, on the sales tax return by clicking the adjust option here. So you see how my sales tax filing does not have any values. It's because I don't have any transactions recorded in my books with sales tax. 
If you notice the refund or tax due is too high or too low, you'll want to review your transactions recorded in QuickBooks Online. So I'll just record a new transaction that's dated between this time frame. Here you'll ensure that sales tax is selected. Oops, there has to be a rate. And then I'll have to pay this one off to show that I've received the money. Okay, and then I will go back to my return, prepare return, and now you see that I have to pay the taxes that I collected uh, from that customer. If I record an expense and pay taxes to my supplier, those taxes that the supplier has collected can then be um, entered as an ITC on this report, so I can technically claim back those um, taxes that I paid. So just to show you that, we'll create an expense here. And I go back to my return, you'll see that the taxes I paid on my business expenses now show up as an ITC that I can claim on this uh, GST HST return. I can then click on this value to see what uh, amounts are totaling up for me to get to 650. Um, so here you'll see on this report, it's only that one expense transaction that I created and the total tax collected on that was $650. Okay, so once you've prepared your return and you've verified all the amounts that are showing on the return, uh, the next step is to submit your sales tax return online to CRA. So in a different window, you will open up the uh, CRA website for GSTHST net file. There are some additional topics here that you can browse for more information. Um, and before you do submit your first GSTHST return, you will need to get a four digit access code. So be sure to do that uh, before you file your first return. 
Um, but once you have that and you're ready to file, go ahead and click on the ready to file button. This will give you a quick little checklist. Again, uh, you do need the access code uh, before you can file re your return. Um, and then go ahead and click continue and uh, you will just enter the business number as well as your access code. And then uh, what you'll do is copy the amounts from your QuickBooks Online return and paste them into the uh, CRA window. So here you'll copy the reporting period uh, dates and then fill out the rest of um, these options here. When you click next, you'll see the line by line items, which you will then copy and paste from your return and enter these uh, values onto the return on the CRA page. So once that is done and after you fill in the online return, you will close the CRA window. You'll go back to QuickBooks Online and then you will uh, go ahead and close out this period, mark it as filed, and then you will record your payments. Um, so I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, just a quick uh, note here, uh, if you are filing with Revenue Quebec, uh, you will use the Click Secure service uh, and you will need your Click Secure access code uh, that you've received from them. Uh, and you'll do the same or similar steps that you've done on the CRA site on the Revenue Quebec site uh, to fill in your Revenue Quebec uh, QST returns. Okay, so once you're back in QuickBooks Online um, to close uh, this filing period and to close your books, you'll then go ahead and click Mark as Filed. Uh, basically, once you've completed this, you should no longer add or edit transactions for this period because, again, you've already told CRA what you've collected and what you're going to remit to them. So you don't want there to be any changes in that. So uh, once you're, uh, you've confirmed all of this, go ahead and click mark as filed. You can then go ahead and click continue. And QuickBooks creates a bill for the amount owing to CRA. The bill is created as a payable in your chart of accounts, so it won't appear in the enter bills window, um, but you can go ahead and you can select pay later. You can click record payment. Let's do pay later. Um, so if you do decide to pay later, you can always come back to the taxes tab here under filings. You have the option to record a payment here. For other bills, you would go to the, um, the new icon here and then down to pay bills. So this is not, uh, this won't be under the pay bills um, tab here. You'll have to come back to taxes and then um, under the filed return, you'll have to record the payment uh, this way. You have a few options when you click on the drop down here to record a refund as well. You can view the summary, you can view, oops, you can view uh, the GST, HST details, the exception details. You can even undo this filing. Um, again, if your accountant has done this filing for you, uh, don't go in and undo anything before you talk to them, uh, especially if a payment has been made to CRA. Okay, so here um, I know that this is a payment that I owe to CRA because uh, po well, positive numbers here mean that it's a payment. If it's a negative number, you'll know that this is a refund coming back to you. Um, but if you also look at the uh, return, you know, we collected more taxes than we paid in ITC. So we know that we actually owe CRA the payment. So we're gonna go ahead and click record payment here um, and then go ahead and select your options for recording the payment. 
go ahead and uh, record this. If you are adding interest or penalties, you can do that on this window as well. I'm just going to record this payment and then we'll see that this has now been paid. Uh, if I need to make any sort of adjustments, I can then click on the payments tab over here and I can see that this payment here, I need to uh, delete it for whatever reason. Uh, I can do that from the actions column uh, on this window here. Okay, so once this is done, uh, if you need to make a payment to Revenue Quebec, you can go ahead and do that now. If you have multiple uh, periods to file, again, you can do that uh, as well uh, right away once your uh, previous filing period is closed. So uh, I need to do October to December next. I will go ahead and do that. Um, but that's about it. That's what you need to know to file sales tax in QuickBooks Online. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining. Bye now.